Hello everyone and welcome back to Clear Creek Solutions Hydrology Education videos and today we're going on to another part of our TR55 series. We're going to be doing a sample project in TR55. So pull up the software. I had a video on how to download it for free and get it up and running. So you should be able to do that there. I have it pulled up and I have the user's guide here for TR55 out and that's going to be our guide for doing this first sample project so you can follow along. So Part A, determine existing condition, peak discharge, and runoff volume. We're going to go over this part A. It says step one, start the Windows TR55 program and enter the user ID, project name, uh, subtitle, state, and county. Specify the sub area units. Default is acres. Use the storm data source default values based on the state and county specified. And to make certain the correct storm data source and rainfall distribution identifier are selected, the user must complete step two. So let's get this first part set up. So for user ID, I'm just gonna put in CCS for our company. Example one, the state they're doing in this example is Missouri. So I'll do the same thing and I will do Franklin County. So you can use this scroll bar here to find the correct county. Okay, Franklin. And then we have standard type two, and we are going to finish that off here. So from the Windows TR55 main menu, main window menu, select global data. From the drop down menu, select storm data. On the storm data window, click the NRCS storm data button if this user decides to use the default database values for the county state combination. So I'm going to use NRCS storm data. I'm going to click accept. You can put in custom data if you want with a custom distribution type. So I'm going to accept that there. So then click the accept button, accepts the data and returns the user to the Windows TR55 main menu. So we have the same setup at this point. Then enter the sub area name, sub area description and where the water leaving the sub area flows in the sub area flows to reach outlet box. So sub area name, we'll use tract one, existing land use, we'll go with outlet. And right now it's zero. If we go to step four, click land use details button to open the land use details window. Okay, so let's find land use here, global data, project data, land use details. Here we go. So it looks like we did 12.5 uh, B of good straight row row crop. So let's find row crop here. Row crop and we did straight row SR 12.5 and it had a curve number of 78. So I'm going to hit accept or it was cultivated agriculture. There we go. And I'm going to sign that to tract one. Make sure you assign it first. Okay, cultivated agriculture row crop 12.5. Okay, accept. So then that should be set right there. The sub area and runoff curve number now appear in the sub entry area and summary portion of the Windows TR55 main menu. It does. I'm do subtitle existing condition real quick here. Okay, so that's set up. Let's keep scrolling. Step five, click the time of concentration details button to open the time of concentration details window. So let's go look at time of concentration Time of concentration details. So the sheet with a 25 foot length. Oh, select the sub area, tract one, 25 feet, 825 shallow concentrated, 0 0.008 slope for both. The surface mannings was cultivated, less than 20% residue, and then unpaved. So it appears to be our setup there. We got the same numbers. I'm going to click accept. The sub area time of concentration now appears in the sub area entry and summary portion of the main menu, main window, and it does. Click run button to open the TR55 run window. And it says select the 50 year storm event for this one. Once the storm events have been selected, click the run button to execute the run. Well, let's do it. And we now have a hydrograph peak and peak timetable. When the run is complete, the file display window opens showing the hydrograph peak, peak time. 
uh, window. To review other output, click Window TR20 reports or Window TR55 reports and select the reports to view. When complete, click the close button to choose the file, the close the file display window and return to the Windows TR55 main window. Okay, so I've viewed it there. Now I can hit close to save the data, click file, save as, and save as in, in the save a Windows TR55 data file as pop-up window, specify a location and file name. Click save, the data are now saved. The pop-up window closes and window tier 55 main window is redisplayed. Okay, save as. I'm gonna go example one dash A. I'm gonna save it there. Now for part A results, the 50 year pre-developed discharge was 66.8 feet cubed per second and the runoff volume was 4.023 inches or 4.19 acre feet. The runoff volume can be accessed on the file display window by selecting the Windows TR20 printed page file. Okay, so that's how we do a sample project in Windows TR55. We'll move on to part B in the next video. You should like and subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this and other lessons on hydrology software. And anyways, we'll see you guys next time.